right now with an Argentine summer squid. The first step we're going to take is to cut the long tentacles. After we've done this, we're going to turn the squid and we're going to make a very small incision, about two inches from the tip. This will be used to insert our leader. We'll do that merely by taking a piece of thread and a simple overhand knot through the leader end or loop end. Once we've accomplished that, we're going to insert a very long needle. Try to keep the needle as close to the collar or, or body as possible so we don't go through any of the internal organs. And we merely feed that needle all the way down towards the head. And we can reach right up inside and feel the needle and pull the whole leader through. And once we've done that, the next step we're going to follow is to affix the head securely to the body. And we're going to insert this through the collar. You'll notice on the under section there are two V's. Those will be key points to align with the head. And on the head there are two sections that we're really concerned with and it's a small horn as I call it. You can see depicted here. Just insert the needle about a quarter of an inch behind the the collar. Push it right through and go right through the horn. Just pull it right through and tie a simple overhand knot. Make sure it's very tight. And simply cut the thread. We're going to do exactly the same thing on the opposite side. And here you see the two finished knots. You'll also notice that our leader is directly centered. That plays an important role in hook position, which you'll see uh, very shortly. Now we flip our squid over and do exactly the same thing on the top section. Insert the needle in the same fashion. Go right through the head. You'll find in doing this that this section of the head is quite firm. If you go too shallow, uh, you'll know it immediately because you'll end up with a, a very soft piece of tissue. Same overhand knot, pull tight and cut. We're going to repeat exactly the same procedure on the opposite side. Now that we have the head secured, our next step is going to be to actually affix our hook to the leader. Now what we start doing at this point is pulling our leader back and begin positioning our hook. I like to position my hook just so it's laying flat and begins right at the V or section of the tentacles which you can see just below the bend of the hook. Now to affix the squid to the leader we do this by inserting the needle about an inch below the slit that we cut and directly alongside the body and through the fin. Stay as close to the body as possible as you can see here. And we pull this whole thread through, leaving the loop end with the knot about in a center position. Come up through the other side, staying close to the body. And now we insert our needle through the loop that we've made. Pull it down securely. And now about a quarter of an inch below that knot, we're going to insert the needle and push it straight up through the hollow portion directly through the point or tip of the squid. It's very important to make sure that you come out directly through the point. You don't want to be below it. By inserting the needle between thread and leader, and we make approximately four or five loops, laying them side by side, going back towards the squid. Now once we've done that, we're going to come back in front of the leader, underneath, over and through our thread, forming a half hitch. We're going to pull this down as tight as possible. And we will put 
a series of three half hitches in front of that knot. Once that's done, there will be absolutely no slippage whatsoever under any trolling conditions. Our next step with again a single strand of thread is to secure our hook from flopping side to side. We do this by going through the collar and around the shank of the hook. Simple overhand knot, tied securely. and cut. I like to do this in, in actually three positions. Our second position will come just before the bend of the hook, but this particular knot is not going to be tied as tight. We leave a little bit of slack in it. Then we pull it down and cut it. And our third and final stitch will be made on the opposite side. This whole process is really to ensure the hook from, from flopping side to side. It's going to lay perfectly against the body of the squid, almost disguised. And once we've done that, our final step is to secure the fins. Now some people don't go through this process, but I find during the trolling you end up with a very tapered, uniform bait, and it just seems to flow through the water much, much better. We do this by just wrapping the fin about two or three inches from the tip, as tight as possible, and tying an overhand knot. Now we're going to come up and tie the exact same loop right near the tip. This closes up that separation so you don't have a water flow during trolling which will separate the fins and begin to really wear on your bait. By doing this we've ensured longevity in trolling. We control this bait tied this way for an entire day. <laughs>